Hey guys, so we got some new sinks for our kitchen and for the bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the process of taking the kitchen sink out. We'll see how this goes. First, I'm going to start by removing all the caulk along the edge uh, just using an X-Acto knife. I watched a couple of videos online. That seems to be the way to do it. And we'll move on from there. Now I'm going to turn off the water pump and attempt to disconnect the water lines from the sink. Going all out? Going all out. Going all out, babe. Okay, so these are water lines and they attach back in here. So I'm going to unscrew those and then I'm also going to unscrew these wing nuts that are back here and then I'll do the drains. So we'll see how this goes. It's a tight fit down here, so it'll be interesting. Garrett reminded me to let the pressure out of the water line, so that's probably a good idea. This is a tight fit, so I'm gonna unscrew this uh, drain part first, and then maybe I can lift it up and then unscrew the water line. Now I can get to the water line a lot easier than from underneath. Got the sink out. Now I have to clean up all this caulk, throw all this out, clean up the water, clean out these traps a little bit. I don't know that we'll be able to reuse these pipes actually, but we'll see. These countertops are sharp. It was just washing, like rubbing um, a towel over this edge and sliced my finger. It's bleeding good. We need to be smarter than the water lines. But, my finger's better. Ha! Uh, so the actual basin of the sink is the same size as the one we had before. Uh, it's just, it's one big basin instead of having two sides. Uh, and then the lip around the outside is uh, thicker and wider than the one we had before, which I thought was going to be fine and that we'd just be able to set this in here and we would just anchor it and all, all would be well in the world. Unfortunately, the way um, the sink anchors down is it has this channel right here. And so because of that, we're going to have to actually widen the hole um, because right now this this channel here is resting um, on the lip. So we have to widen our hole a little bit. Um, but other than that, like it looks like it's gonna fit pretty good. We were also worried that our invert, we'd maybe have to move our inverter, uh, but we got a couple inches of clearance around the inverter still. So that's good. I mean, we'll be getting a new inverter eventually, but I think this is gonna work out pretty well. Um, our drain, however, is right in the middle, uh, right above the wood right here. So we'll have to see what happens with that. I feel like we could like notch this out if we had to. Yeah, we might have to cut some of this, some of this, some of this out right here. I don't know. We'll see. The faucet we got actually um, only needs the center hole or whatever. So we make this plate just barely covers all three holes, so that's gonna work out. We have several inches uh, front to back, but side to side, we have maybe an inch of play. And so because of that, we can probably, we can position it just so um, our, the drain is coming right here. So it's, we're gonna have to cut out some of this um, to make it work. But I don't think it's going to be horrible. We just have to cut out just, it's just barely overlapping. So just a little bit. So now we are going to try and um, we're actually going to get the sink ready to be placed. And 
So now we are taping the area where we'll be cutting, so that way the, um, like the, the vinyl or linoleum or whatever the countertop's made out of, um, that way that doesn't chip while we're actually cutting. Someone in Lowe's gave us this idea. So. I went ahead and put a trash bag over the inverter too, so we just don't get sawdust and stuff in it. As you would imagine, there's not a lot of room to keep saws and tools and things uh, in the RV. So we picked um, this skill saw um, to use for this project. One, because we thought it probably would be the most the easiest tool, and also it's super versatile. We can use this saw on a lot of our other projects we've got planned for this year, and also just um, for random things we need to cut, um, like when we were doing our closet pulls, this would have been a great tool instead of that handsaw. So, um, I think we'll get a lot of use out of this, and it's a good size. Oh, this is gonna be loud. This is gonna scare you. Alright, be careful. Go hide. All right, we'll see if it fits. It's not the cleanest cut. Um, the corners don't actually have to be very straight, obviously, for this specific sink, so I think we'll be okay, but. Let's see, we might have to do a little bit of trimming. Hey, look at that. That's in. First try. Not bad. Awesome. We're gonna go ahead and mark out um, where this is hitting and just go ahead and cut it now, probably. The key to doing these types of projects while you're living in your RV is cleaning up as you go. So the white pipe here is what we ended up getting at Lowe's. Um, we needed to extend it a little further from uh, the, the, the old whatever pipe. Um, and then uh, we got this new trap to go with it that is a little bit flexible here. Um, we got the flexible uh, the flexible tubing here um, because we thought maybe we'd get lucky and it would make it so we don't have to cut such a huge hole out of this um, out of this wall right here. Um, we thought maybe if we had the flexible one, we wouldn't have to cut a such a big hole here uh, because it, you know, maybe it just like kind of work, but it didn't. We're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Get this cut out uh, just how it needs to be. Maybe reinforce it a little bit, and then we will uh, drop the sink in and hook up the hook up the drain. This should be plenty of room, and now we should just be able to hook everything up. While we have the sink out, we're gonna go ahead and fix this drawer. It's been broken for a while now. We ran into another issue here. This piping um, and like these attachments aren't gonna work with like the new sink attachments. So we have to run to Ace and get something that will connect the two. And also I just realized I have no idea which one's hot and which one's cold. I bet you this one's hot. Yeah, the Because the hot side was... Yeah. Uh, so, this is probably hot. Maybe we should, like, indicate that. Well, we'll, we'll remember that now, so. Before we cut it. Anyway. The success of your project is measured in how many times you have to take trips to the hardware store. Are, is, um, more trips, is more trips equal more success? No, more trips is less success. The fewer trips you have to take, the more successful it is. So this is trip number two. Huh? Okay, uh, we got what we needed. We needed a like a male to male adapter. So this will screw onto here. This guy will screw onto this side. And then uh, these this tubing came with the faucet, and that will screw on like this. Uh, and then this side 
and this side here actually goes um, into the faucet. So I think we have everything we need. Well, it was a good idea. It was like a good idea in theory. <laughs> it didn't work. The back ones are still on and that's what the important part was, right? Okay. We can't decide what... Oh, well, there's this screw. Here. Oh, yeah, so, so that would be in the back. Okay. Right. Oh, so, okay, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to cock this plate before we put the faucet in. That seems to be... The most intelligent course of action. So the water hookups are not leaking um, as far as I can tell and everything seems to be uh, working pretty good on that end. Uh, the drain, however, is leaking, but since like the, the hard, the difficult to access stuff seems to be good, we're gonna go ahead and uh, caulk it and, you know, and secure everything down, uh, and then we'll, we'll worry about the drain. I'll probably try using plumber's tape and see if that fixes my issue. If not, we'll have to run back to town to get a different, uh, different fitting, but. It's time to screw it down. You make it fun of me. <laughs> no. Never. Oh, this is the fun. Probably the most difficult. Yeah. I thought that um, these black pieces, these are the old pieces I was trying to use. I thought those weren't going to work because that's where we were leaking, but I added a little bit of uh, plumber's tape to both ends, and uh, everything seems to be functioning. Um, functioning well and not leaking. Even though we didn't use the flexibility part of it, I think it will absorb um, a lot of, of vibrations when we're driving um, more than a normal uh, pipe would. But yay, I'm excited that everything seems to be done. The sink is totally done and it really came together. I'm surprised how long it took, but it's done now and it looks amazing. When people walk in, they're going to say, you have more sink and counter space, which is now true. So we're gonna have to find a sink cover um, to put on it so we can have more counter space as well, but it looks awesome, so I don't even care. It wasn't super difficult, but it was just time consuming, I would say. Um, Hopefully just chill for one minute. If you have any questions, comments, um, please leave those below. We'd love to hear them. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and a big thumbs up. Thanks for living life with us today and we'll see you guys in the next video.